so let's go ahead and let's get familiar with owl carousel so over here we go to a google and again i'm just going to say owl carousel right and you can see that this is going to be the web page that we're going to be opening home of owl carousel right and here we have home demos docs and download right so right away i'm just going to click it download so it's downloading and over here we can see the demos what we're going to be looking at right so over here we're going to have a basic one right so this is going to be our basic carousel and if we go back over here we can see a let's say a responsive center and right to left and and all kinds of different ones and here would be a documentation right so if we just scroll it down you can see this is they're telling us where the files are located right this is going to be the two css files and this is going to be a two javascript files and over here if we click to next to installation right they're right away telling us where uh what are the css files right the links over here but what i want to do over here in the brackets because we have a massive file already what i want to do is i want to use a brackets extension and open up a new uh over here i'm sorry i'm in chrome right i would want a, a new bootstrap template right and i'm going to say that this is going to be a owl html right over here and i'm going to say save as and i'm going to say owl html right and now what i would want to do is delete again this basic template right there's containers and everything just to have it empty and over here if we go back i would want to copy this right and over here in the head we're just going to place this css right paste it over here this is going to be our owl and after that we're going to go where is our js right and we don't need to add jquery obviously because we already have it with the template so over here you can see that underneath these scripts we're just gonna add a owl right we're gonna paste it over here and the next thing what we want to want to do is obviously right away there's they're telling us right what kind of a html we would want right so over here we have this html setup right the basic setup so i'm just gonna copy and paste it over here and we're just gonna check it out what we have you can see that i have a your content right so this is going to be our content for now before we have actually linked our files and if we go further right so this is going to be our uh, script that we need to place right so since we have a empty uh, file right we can just place it within the script tags right now obviously in a normal case we would be placing and that's what we're going to be doing for our bootstrap theme right we're going to be actually placing it within a file right within a javascript file right but just because it's so small we can just do it like this right so here i just copy and paste right and now it is in the, within the script tags right and let me just make it a little bit more room so it looks more of a jquery uh, line of code right so it's not confusing and after that once we have everything we obviously would need to drag those two files right so here if you if we know that this is going to be our car so blah 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 zip so we're just going to go to downloads and and get it actually to our folder over here right and the case over here what i would just want to show you is you can see that it's targeting over here in this class right so this is how it's targeting we're creating a div that is basically matches the classes and that's how we uh, initialize a owl uh, carousel right so I'm just going to go back over here. I'm going to go to a my downloads over here like this. And you can see that I already downloaded one, right? So if we just go back over here to the zip, right? We're going to open up another one, right? Then over here, this is going to be the second one. And if we go back over here, you can see distribution, right? And if we open up our bootstrap, right? And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new folder. And I'm going to say that this is going to be Owl Carousel, Carousel, over here like this. And now I'm going to drag these two, uh, well, one JavaScript and two of the CSS over here like this. And over here, if we go further into assets, right, this is where our CSS is going to be. Now, over here, you can see this min CSS, right, and this Owl theme. Well, technically, you don't need this theme one, right? but i'll show you why it's actually it's it's very neat to have it right so again we're just going to drag it over here this is going to be min and this is be owl theme min right so over here and once we have everything we're just going to go and close it out over here and we're going to go back to a brackets right 
and over here if we go uh, to this file and what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, save it for now right we're going to save it and once we refresh the page you can see that this is our basic uh, carousel right now it's moving only when you're clicking and moving right because we haven't added any extras right this is the most basic one right but you can see it still works like a carousel right so let's go back over here and let's just start uh, looking at the options that we have right so over here if we go back to those demos that they had let's scroll all the way up and this is going to be demos and you can see this is going to be a basic one right so we just click it over here and this is what they're telling us to do right so this is going to be the code right so let's just start with this one i'm just going to copy this one and over here we're going to go back and you can see this is going to be our script right so what we would need to do is we would need to get rid of this line over here where the semicolon ends right and we're just going to paste it over here right and again we're just gonna have to save it and over here if we go back refresh right and now you can see that it's going to be a little bit better right now we'll have these two icons over here right the next over here and the previous ones right over here like this and this is going to be our content again it's very basic we're just starting with basically one text your content right so let me show you how it would work with actually with images right and the only thing we would need to do is over here obviously we're just going to create over here this we can just delete this divs right and we can say that we can create one div and we're going to say that this is going to be a div that has a image inside of it and we're going to say source and since we have images right you can place any image you would want right over here i'm going to go to portfolio and i'm going to go to pick one right and the reason why i saved them pick one one two three or whatever is because it's just it is a little bit easier to work with them right so over here what i would want to do is i would want to actually copy this right so i'm just going to copy this let's say i don't know four times or something like this right and over here we're just going to change it around right we're going to say that this is not going to be pick one this is going to be pick two and over here we're going to say that this is going to be a pick three right and over here this is going to be a pick four over here like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to place it over here and again we're going to save it and once we refresh right now you can see that we have actual carousel right that is working with a uh, working with owl right so this is how the carousel looks like right so let me show you with the basic one what we have over here right so the first command over here is loop right which means that it's pretty much continuously looping through right or here yeah, you can see it going it doesn't stop right so the next one is obviously margin and it's 10 pixels in between right so over here if we go over here we can see if we have three images obviously this is going to be those 10 10 pixels right next thing the navigation is actually these ones right these pre previous and next right if we would take this one out if we would say that this is false right then they obviously would disappear now the last one over here is a responsive one basically what it says is that for the small screen this is going to be one image for the bigger screen this is going to be three image and obviously for the biggest one this is going to be all five right so in this case we have four so obviously it's not going to be five but in general this is how it would work right now let me show you another thing why we needed this owl theme right so if we go over here to this uh, let's say to well first of all let me show you a de demo right over here right so this is how it should look like right but somehow our one doesn't even look close to this one right you can see we have two letters right and they have properly over here previous next and all these little neat buttons right so what we would need to do you go over here to owl carousel right and we're going to go to owl team default right so over here i'm just going to place something and i'm going to save it and now you can see that from the min it turns to a expanded normal one right and you can see all the time this continuously this class be coming up all theme all theme right and you can see that we can actually change the colors and all that and the reason for that is if we want this one right to look more like this we actually what we would need to do is go to all html right over here and we go over here and we would need to add the class right and we're going to say that the class is going to be all theme right so again we're just going to save it we'll refresh and over here 
we'll check it out what we have what we're missing right Some, something we're missing and everything's fine and now you can see that now it looks much more proper right so now we have the actual um the actual navigation and the buttons and looks much more neater and the reason for that obviously this is going to be a styling class right this is the theme class again you can do it obviously your own one right but just for beginning i would suggest actually adding this theme because it just makes it look nicer right so here if we go back right we also have options of basically changing these colors right so if we go over here and if i would say one five zero two five right so you can see how actually a uh, color changed over here and we can just keep scrolling down this is going to be a background and let's say the background we're going to say like white smoke over here like this so this is going to be a background then again we keep on working right this is going to be old team old nav again i'm just going to change the colors and i encourage you if you have a time and if you are willing right to change these things around just because it it kind of gives you an idea of what are you doing right and which ones you're affecting right so again over here we can see that this is going to be all dots right so again i'm just gonna i'm gonna change them and i'm gonna say that i would want them to be and displayed like this right so right here you can see that once uh the active one is going to be gray but the rest of them are going to be like this and over here we need to select the active one and over here i'm just going to write a black right so now the active one is going to be black and the one we're hovering is going to be black right and the last thing probably over here this background we would want to change right so let's say also it's going to change it to i don't know something like navy right so as we're hovering right so this is going to be navy and these are going to be dots right so this is everything to do with css and now you can see how easy it was to create a basic one right the basic owl and if we go back over here you can see that there's many other options that we have. We can have a responsive, we can have it in center, we can have right to left, but I'm gonna let you dis uh, actually discover them uh, all by yourself, right? But over here, what I wanna show you, if we go back to docs, right? You can see, see over here, this is the options, right? And these are the things that we can actually change, right? So over here, you can see the type, the number, right? By default, it's gonna be three. The margin is going to be zero loop right first is going to say this is going to be false right so these are all the manual things that we can actually add right and over here the one thing that i would want to show you is actually a smart speed and that's pretty much a speed with uh how fast they are uh, switching from one to another one right so here now you can see that i missed it again always somewhere right so this is going to be a smart speed right so if we go over here right where we have all our options right and you, can, you have to understand that by default, right, with the basic one, you already have a couple of these options, right? So you have a choice, right? So you can delete all this, right, and just make it your own one, right? Or you can just add some things that you would want, that you would think is interesting, right? So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, add this smart speed over here like this. And I'm going to say that this is going to be like 4,000, right? Because you can see that it's taking a number, right? And just remember that we need to add a comma over here, right? and for the last one we don't right so responsive one wouldn't have this one over here because it is the last one and over here make sure that if you for example have only two of them right so you don't want to put it on the second one right on the last one right only the first one over here would have that this comb over here and over here you can see the default is two 250 but i will gonna put like four thousand right so what i want to do is i want to actually just refresh this one right now you can see how, how much slower it's going to load, right? So this is pretty neat what we can do. Uh, now that we know a owl uh, carousel, right? We're actually ready to go and add three more sections that are going to contain a owl carousel in our bootstrap theme. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,